Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next World Junior video as we do a Ponky Tate Junior level. This is going to be on Team Sweden's roster being announced. If you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below to keep us going and growing to 180, which is the Christmas goal. But they have Cowie Klang, Jesper Vilkman, who plays for the Giants, Roggle BK overseas is who Klang plays for, and Jesper Wallstead, who plays for Lulea HF, I believe is how you pronounce that. I would have to imagine uh, Wallstedt is going to get, obviously the 19-year-old who is in the Wild organization, is going to get the nod because 240 goals against and 923 save percentage in two games at last season's tournament, you would think would put him in the goal line to be able to get it going. Klang is Pittsburgh's prospect, and it's going to be interesting if he gets a shot of what he's able to do. He's definitely a successful goaltender when they already have Tristan Yari playing like a bat out of hell to have another successful guy uh, like Cowie Klang in there is only going to be helpful. And then Vickman was taken uh, by the Vegas Golden Knights in the 2020 draft, um, and he's posted very good international numbers um, in a couple games. So um, it'll be interesting to see. And he's also been equally as good with the Western Hockey League's Vancouver Giants, the hockey, according to the hockey writers. Now, I did a video already on um, on Emil Andrea going to Team Sweden since he is uh, one of the Flyers prospects, which is obviously my favorite team for people that follow the channel. Obviously, we do overall coverage, though. And uh, Emil Andrea, who plays for HV71, is on the team. Simon Edvardson, one of the best defensive prospects. Uh, Mons Fortsvall. And then you have Helgi Granz, uh, Leo Luf, Joel Nystrom, Anton Olsen, and Victor Solholm. Obviously, Ed Edvidson is the leader of that defense, uh, who was drafted by the Red Wings, who already have Sider, so he is just adding absolutely ridiculous. And he's also been compared to Sider, so uh, he's a ridiculous, fun guy to watch that is just going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, when he comes over there and has ridiculous attention to detail. But um, as the Hockey Raiders points out, even though Emil Andre is 5'9", I did a video on it. I'll link it at the end for people that are obviously going to watch this, that are into Team Sweden to watch that. But he's a smarter guy, or a smaller guy, excuse me, but makes up with it in skill. And that's what you have to do if you're smaller. And Emil Andre does that. And he obviously is coming into himself nicely. And then Luf, who was drafted by the um, St. Louis Blues uh, last season, played in 19 games on a loan to Sweden and racked up three goals and 12 assists in 19 games. Um, and has six points in 25 games this season. So he's progressing nicely as well. <coughs> so they have a good defense, a very solid defense, led by very good top people on their defense. But when it comes to this team, they also have um, one of the strongest forward cores in the tournament. Um, you have four first-round picks in Eklund with the Sharks, Rosin, who's with the Sabres, uh, LaSalle, who's the Bruins guy, who's going to be a great asset for their team. Um, he's going to be the guy that really takes over for DeBrus not being where you thought he would be. He's going to be a guy that slots in there in the future. Olsen, uh, who went to the Avalanche, who don't even need any more talent, but they have it in him. Um, so, and then on top of those guys, you have Daniel uh, Lungman, you have Elliot Eckmark, uh, you have Zion Nybeck, uh, Theodore Nagabach, uh, you have Albert Soberg, uh, Aki Stock, Stockinstead, Elias Stenman, uh, Daniel Torgerson, and Alexander Holtz, who's obviously a very good player um, playing right now with Utica. So, I mean, th th this team, this team is absolutely uh nutty at the forward core uh, to say the least um and I think um the thing is for this team they're deep at every position but they're obviously going to have the work cut out for them it's not going to be easy for this team with how stacked the American team is team Canada is I talked about Finland being a a good team in the video I did for them and then Czech Republic kind of being that underlining underdog type team that people don't look to. I don't think they're going to get far, but they're a team that's going to be more competitive than people look to. I don't, and they haven't announced their full confirmed roster yet. But if you look at it, they have some talented cats over there. So I think this is going to be a tough road to obviously medal gold wise, but to medal silver wise with how deep that forward core is. And you have Edvinson and you have um, 
on top of Edmondson, Andrea from the Flyers organization, Helgi Granz, who's a very good defenseman as well, um, Solholm. I mean, you, you have a good team. It's just going to be how, once it comes to the head of playing one of the best in the tournament, uh, what, are, what are they going to do at that point? I think Sweden's going to be perfect against any team that they should be. But when it comes to the two top kahunas going against each other in the group, what, what are they going to do at that point? Because I think they could get to the finals of the group stage, but then what's going to happen then? So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a joy to do these videos on the World Juniors. If you enjoy them, please continue to subscribe down below as the World Juniors are right around the corner on December 26th, right after my birthday on December 25th. So perfect time for them to start. I think Sweden definitely has a chance to... Uh, metal silver wise gold is definitely going to be a very tough road for them just like I said Finland in that video has a chance to metal bronze wise just as they did before but getting above that will be a very tough road for them but we'll have to see they have a talented forward score and an underrated defense score so um, and a very good goaltender in a uh, wall step so you have to see moving forward for team Sweden and, and two good backups in a uh, Vikman and Klang so who knows but have a good, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out and enjoy the hockey.